Racism fuels riots. Now, I took this from my BlanchardMediaGroup.com um, posting. I've been writing about racism and the stuff that's been troubling me for the last couple of days. On November 24, 2014, a grand jury found insufficient evidence to indict Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson of the murder of Michael Brown. Ferguson is a city in St. Louis County, Missouri, in the United States. It's a part of the greater St. Louis metropolitan area. Now, the grand jury's accusatory function is to determine whether or not there is probable cause to believe that one or more persons committed a certain offense within the venue of the district court. The grand jury in the United States is composed of 16 to 23 citizens. Now, with today's forensic evidence, testimony, video, photography, and the level of education of our citizens, it is reasonable to believe that this grand jury did the best job they could do with the facts that were presented. They knew and understood what the risks were. It's their town. But when you add racism to this tragedy, all hell breaks loose. Racism says a white cop shot an unarmed black child. Racism says there is no justice. There will be no peace. Racism says a black life isn't worth anything. Racism says that black boys are a danger to this society. Racism refuses to look at the facts. Racism multiplies the media exploitation of the Brown family's tears. Racism breeds when educated people are seen on television agreeing that justice was not done. Racism excuses outside influences for pontificating and agitating the uninitiated. In the U.S., we enjoy the freedom to march against wrongdoings. Our country has been improved by the marches of the civil rights era. The right to petition government for redress of grievances is the right to make a complaint to or seek the assistance of one's government without fear of punishment or reprisals. We haven't had much success since the 60s. There is no sane reason for burning or destroying your own neighborhood unless it's to get rid of some pestilence. Fighting the police is uncalled for and it's stupid. It's racist to believe that all law enforcement officers are white supremacists. It's racist to support destruction anywhere in the name of peace. There are grieving parents in Ferguson and nothing you do can bring Michael Brown back to life. There are businesses and livelihoods threatening distinction or, or destruction in Ferguson. There's a generation of children watching all this foolishness with the same mindset, wondering and having to choose to continue this madness at a later date. I dare to say that none of the people in the streets have the facts or don't care. Racism is all they have. In fact, I am praying for our nation. You know, we can't reason when we're angry. We don't listen when we're shouting. We can't love when we hate. And racism has fueled it all. Frustration and a lack of hope is behind it. Hate is just that low-hanging fruit too many have eaten from that tree. Say